hello everyone welcome back to my another photoshop tutorial in this tutorial i'm gonna add the table option inside photoshop if we look into other software like ms office and indesign there is already table option in there but unfortunately in photoshop has no option for creating table so we are gonna add this table option in photoshop once we have made a tutorial about the drawing table inside photoshop but this new tutorial is more easy and stable than other let's get started so the first thing I'm gonna use the text tool for draw the line. Right click on the text tool and click on the horizontal type tool. Now go to the page and draw the line. How you could draw the line? Come here and hit the underline tool. Now hit the backspace and remove this text. Now hold space and draw the line like this. Now select this line by Ctrl plus A in your keyboard. Right now I am gonna copy this by Ctrl plus C. Now come to the end of the line and hit enter in your keyboard. And paste here by Ctrl plus V like this. Right now select these all by Ctrl plus A in your keyboard. Now come to the end again and hit enter in your keyboard. and paste it here hit enter and paste it like this now deselect this and a little bit zoom it now go to the text tool again and click on the vertical type too right now come to this corner and click here and hit backspace like before and hold space in your keyboard like this Right now a little bit zoom out and hold space to reach the line to the end like this. Right now zoom this corner a bit and go to the move tool and hold this line and make this perfect like so. Now we will check it out how it look like. It look perfect. Now I am going to make some columns here. So I would like to select the top layer. Right now duplicate this layer. Hit OK. Right now hold Shift and press the right arrow to drag it like this. Let's look perfect. Right now we need to duplicate another layer. The duplicate shortcut is Ctrl plus J in your keyboard. Right now hold shift and the right arrow again. Now we are to zoom out like this. And now we are gonna do the same process like before. Now select these all layers, hold control in your keyboard and select these all. Right now hold control again and hit E in your keyboard to make them group. Right now I would like to remove these outlines. I'm gonna click on the marquee tool and select this area. And hit backspace in your keyboard to remove these. Now deselect by Ctrl plus D in your keyboard. Now a little bit zoom out. Right now I am going to the magic tool. A little bit zoom it and select these lines. Now zoom out it like this. Right now click on the work path and go to the make work path and hit OK. Now the rasterized layer has converted to shape. Right now I want to add it in the custom shape. Go to the edit and come down to the custom shape. Now click OK. Now the table has successfully added in custom shape. Right now I want to create a new page. I want to use A4. If you want to use any other page you can use it. 
now how we can draw the table come to the custom shape and click here and now go to the shape and come down to the end and click on the table now hold shift and draw the table like this how much you want so if you want to use any other color so you can change it from here double click here and change the color like this which color you want But this table is a temporary table. I want to save this for the permanent base. How we can save it? Go to the shape and go to the setting. And select this one. Go to the setting and save the shape. And save it. And right now I am gonna load this. Click on the table and load it. 